And you know, I even have like some palm trees, which are, I guess are supposed to be, you know, and they're already getting a little yeah. yellow. So yeah. I mean, like I'm out there all the time watering those plants. Oh it's yeah, crazy. no, my yard's pretty dry, but you know, I don't mind that it's all dying because now <laughs> I don't have to pay the guy that to mows the it. lawn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's been That's gone true. for a week or two. <laughs> you're saving money on water, you're you, saving money on a mower. You got to, yeah, you got yeah. to somehow. Um, you know, it's going to be hot again today. It's already hot outside right now. And unfortunately, we are talking about some record heat over the next couple of days. Now, we actually hit 105 degrees in Oklahoma City yesterday. That's the hottest that it's been in quite some time. Of course, we hit 104 a couple of days earlier this month. And so far, we're 4.6 degrees above normal for the month of July. But here's the thing. Today, yes, it's going to be hot. But tomorrow is going to be extremely dangerous. We have an excessive heat warning all across really pretty much the state an excessive heat watch out in the panhandle it could feel upwards of around 112 degrees during the peak hours tomorrow afternoon with the air temperature getting really close to 110 degrees so right now it's not terrible outside. It's still hot. We have lots of sunshine. The Surrey Tigers camera, part of our Pike Pass Sky Chem Network. The wind's out of the northeast today at seven miles an hour. We did have a cool front move through, but it's not really doing a whole lot for us. The dew points are still in the low 70s, so it still feels more like 99 degrees already. Temperatures range from the upper 80s and low 90s all across the north, but we already have several locations across the Red River where we've already hit 100 degrees or higher. So here's where that front currently sits. Most of us have a northeast wind between 10 to 20 miles an hour because of that. But again, not really cooling us off a whole lot, but we shouldn't be as hot as we were yesterday. So right now we have some showers and storms over the Great Lakes and moving into the New England coast. But outside of that, we've just got the heat dome that's been out to the west and it's going to again, be that dominant feature over the next several days with the front trying to move in here and there. But again, not really doing a whole lot for us. It does look like by Friday there will be a very slight chance of rain in parts of the state. And with that, we could see maybe a little bit more cloud cover and temperatures dropping to around 100 degrees. But after that, it just looks plain hot. Temperatures back in the lower 100s and I'm really not seeing uh, an end to that anytime soon. So today, 100 degrees in Oklahoma City, that northeast wind between about 5 to 15 miles an hour, but looking for a high of about 106 today in Altus, 102 in Lawton, and 104 this afternoon in Hobart. Overnight tonight, we're going to be mostly clear, and temperatures will range from the mid-60s around Ponca City to the low 70s here in Oklahoma City to the upper 70s and low 80s in the southeast where that front will yet to move through. But by tomorrow afternoon, this is when we're talking about some really hot temperatures, record heat, the last time we hit 109 degrees was back in 1936 for that day. So I think we're going to actually tie that 109 in Ponca City, 107 in Ada, 113 in Lawton, Clinton, Hobart, Altus. Crazy numbers we're talking about. Now, by tomorrow evening, we've got a boundary that's going to try to move in, and that will bring a chance of rain and storms across the northwest. A very low threat that they could become maybe a little stronger, but as that front continues to push off to the south, it's going to weaken, but it will still have just the slightest chance of actually being able to produce that maybe an isolated shower storm even in central and southern Oklahoma. It's not going to do a lot for our temperatures. We're not talking about 109 degrees. This time we're talking of 106 degrees in Oklahoma City on Wednesday. So 111 in Hobart, Lawton, Altus, 104 in Alva, and 106 Wednesday afternoon in Ponca City. By Thursday, we're coming down to about 101 degrees. We've got that 10% chance on Thursday and Friday. So temperatures right around 100. Those overnight lows staying in the mid and upper 70s. I put the dates on the nine day forecast too for next Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because we're going to get close to seeing more record high temperatures as temperatures stay above 100 degrees for the time being.